Hey, this is David Russell again, coming to you from our Black Belt Prairie uh, pasture where we're evaluating control options on McCartney Rose. And I just wanted to take the time and point out some of our weed species that we often see in the Black Belt region. Number one is honey locust. Uh, believe it or not, this is a legume plant, so it makes its own nitrogen. It's problematic though, because it's a woody brush species that gets really hardy and hard to control pretty quick. In addition to that, it's got some pretty mean thorns that'll puncture a tractor tire pretty quick. So you don't want this in your productive pasture, especially where you're driving across in any vehicle. It can take out desirable forages as well. Moving over this way, I noticed some shorter statured grasses that we often consider as an unimproved turf grass type. In this situation, just because of the lower palatability and lower productivity, it's an undesirable in a grazing pasture, and that's carpet grass and centipede grass. Carpet grass, as many of you may be aware of it encroaching in a, in a lawn situation, it can be identified this time of year with, uh, by these thin uh, spindly seed heads up above a short statured leaf. Again, not very palatable nor productive. And even shorter grass is the centipede. All right, both do well in lower fer fer fertility sites. And again, in a grazing system where we've got cattle and other livestock, it's just not making a whole lot of good desirable forage. Chokes out a lot of our other desirable grass species as well. And so does this one. Uh, the majority of the, latter ha the lower half of South Alabama is probably familiar with smut grass. It's a widespread problem. It is undesirable for cattle. And by this time of year, it's already put up a seed head. It's named smut grass because it gets this smut-like fungus around the seed heads. Cattle simply graze around it, and then you're left with a perennial clump where no other desirable grasses grow.